Ovarian cysts in dairy herds can have a great impact on overall reproductive health. The condition is more commonly seen in mature breeding animals, but less commonly seen in beef herds. Ovarian cysts do reduce efficiency of reproduction and can lead to profit losses. Therefore, in this presentation, we will discuss the overview of this concern. So what is an ovarian cyst? And ovarian cysts are follicular structures that have a diameter of at least 2.5 centimeters or one inch that are present for 10 or more days on the ovaries within the absence of a functional corpus luteum. The only practical method to detect the cystic ovarian disease is by a rectal palpation of the cow's reproductive tract. This point emphasizes the importance of regular herd health checks by a trusted veterinarian. Cysts can be categorized as follicular or luteinized follicular cysts Luteinized meaning the formation of the corpus luteum from an ovarian follicle that has recently discharged an ovum. So to go a little bit deeper into what exactly a follicular cyst is, it is a thin wall with a thickened fecal layer that has a variable amount of granulosa cells and it can appear on one or both ovaries and this type of cyst is approximately 70% of the cases that we observe. And then looking at a luteinized follicular cyst, this is a thick-walled one with luteal tissue lining the inside of the follicles. This is typically a single cyst on one ovary and is only about 30% of the cases that we observe. So while you were looking for symptoms, here are a few common ones that you may observe. We can see that cows with ovarian cysts have abnormal patterns of estrus behavior and in many cases the absence of estrus or and estrus is a very common symptom. The physical appearance of cows with ovarian cysts is often not very noticeable and they'll look just like their neighbor. <laughs> However, the following are general symptoms that cows with ovarian cysts may have. So you may see a thick, crusty neck, little or no muscle tone in the vulva, vagina, or uterus. You may see a relaxation of the sac sacroiliac and sacrosynatic ligaments, which results in appearance of an elevated tail head you may see abrupt changes in your milk production as well. It should be noted that these general symptoms are useful only to kind of have an idea if this is happening, but you should always get a definite diagnosis from a veterinarian doing a rectal palpation. So while there are not exact factors responsible for the cyst formation, there are a few things that you may be able to do in preparation or in resolve of this problem. So we do think that the malfunction is due to a release of the luteinizing hormone. So when cysts develop, you see follicles enlarging to an abnormal size instead of ovulating and releasing an egg. So the presence of the cyst prevents the cow from having a normal 21 day estrus cycle. And so the cow can't be bred and pregnancy is delayed until that cycle can go back to where it needs to be. So previous studies also indicate that you can fix this problem through calling the sire when the daughter shows the ovarian cysts and that can reduce the overall occurrence of this problem. However, it's also very likely that some of the females that show ovarian cysts are also high producers, so it may come at a cost to decide whether or not to breed these specific individuals. Looking at nutrition, there's actually no direct link that shows nutrition will decrease the occurrence of ovarian cysts. But because we are looking at dairy cattle, it's important to note that you do need to have a balanced ration to make sure the milk production is adequate. So to treat ovarian cysts, originally many people would actually induce a manual rupture, but that could sometimes cause hemorrhaging. So current treatment suggestions include administration of hormones that are high in LH. Common injections include the um, HCG hormone, although sometimes you can see antibody formations are possible with this treatment due to the large molecular weight of the human chronic gonadotropin hormone. However, the gonadotropin releasing hormone, also known as GNRH, is a frequently recommended treatment because it will cause the pituitary to release LH and will not result in the antibody formations. So in conclusion, ovarian cysts are a concern for reproductive health, especially in dairy herds. And although there's not a directly known cause, there can be treatments and genetic decisions that can make 
that can be made to reduce the presence of this condition. We do recommend always consulting your veterinarian if you have any concerns.